Well, it's a big day today and it's finally arrived. I'm here at the wall, John's painting over there, and I'm reporting on the last day's painting. Um, as you know, I've been here for the last 10 or 11 days filming this wonderful picture of developing and I'm going to miss it. I'm, I've enjoyed coming down here every day and I shall miss not coming down for my, my daily bit of John painting. But hey, look at what we've got. Look at this amazing picture behind us. John's painting a horse and cart. I'll be telling you the story of that later and meeting somebody who has a connection with it. But for now, I'm going to leave him in peace because he doesn't need me interrupting constantly. He has to concentrate. Although I might ask him, Next time he does a painting, don't do it by a busy road. It makes filming a real problem. But hey, we'll catch you later. We have the usual crowd turning up to see John on his last day at the wall. So, it would appear John has an audience this morning. Morning, ladies. <laughs> Isn't it wonderful? Absolutely wonderful. <laughs> Note to self, next time we do this, sell tickets, I think. <laughs> Have you come from far to see this today? Uh, we've come from Kenton Mandeville with Kenton Mandeville WI. Oh, the Kenton Mandeville WI. Oh, yeah. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, the Kinton Mandeville, W Wire here. Did you bring cakes? No. Oh, no, sorry. That's a shame. I love cakes and you guys make the best cakes in the world. I'll take a picture of everyone underneath. Okay. Where would you like us? Would you like us by the cows or would you like us by the tour? Uh, in the middle. I think we've got a group photo situation. Here we are with the Kenton Mandeville Women's Institute, the purveyor of five cakes the world over. Yay! Thanks, ladies! I'm here with Di, part owner of the shop behind us on which this wonderful mural has been painted, together with the horse and cart. Now, the horse and cart has a bit of a history. Can you tell us a bit about why we've got a horse and cart on it, Di? Okay. Um, my grandparents used to come up here with their peat and sell it to the um, farm land owners for their fires to burn and I used to come up on the horse and cart with them when I was a toddler. So that's the history of the horse and cart. And you used to sit pretty much here on the cart waiting for waiting him, didn't for you? Waiting for him, yes, to come out. And um, we came from Sharpham up from the drove. And um, so the peat 
Absolutely. And of course that industry is dying off out there now, isn't it? No, it's it is, yeah. Not like it used not to be. Not like it used to be. But I would like to say thank you on behalf of everybody in Glastonbury for providing this wall, agreeing to have it done today and just making this part of the town so much more wonderful. It's the land that was before it became house and estate. Absolutely. Um, it was a farm land and now it represents the land that was. Yeah. I'd like to also say thank you to the lovely Diane Steve for keeping me coffee and John and tea <laughs> for the last two weeks. For making we've been their own. There. Well, we do make our own, but they're still keeping us in tea and coffee, which is wonderful. Uh, that's OK. Di, it's been an absolute pleasure talking to you, getting to know you through this, and I shall be seeing more of you when I come back and looking at Lots it again. More. Lots more. Thank okay, you very thank much, you. Di. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. So here we are, two weeks later and three gallons of paint on the last day and it is finished. The wonderful, wonderful artwork that John has completed for the town is now ready for you to come down and look at it. What do you reckon guys? It's been an amazing two weeks, hasn't it? It's, the public response has been fantastic, really happy with how it's gone down, how everybody seems to really appreciate it and the most com comment that I've heard is that it makes people happy, it makes people smile. It puts That's why we do it. Puts a, puts a smile <laughs> on their face, which is, our job is done. Our job is done. And Kim, I mean, this is like two years almost since the... Yeah, it's better than I could have possibly imagined. We, we had various phases of kind of planning of what, how it was going to work, whether it was going to be all of it, whether it was just going to be one gable. And, and the way it's kind of ended up is literally better than I could have possibly imagined. It Didn't has. It? Did be proud, John. Thank you. And there goes Wilf with his Morris Minor van driving past. I missed it. Never mind. No, it's fantastic. And I mean, all the characters are there now. We've got the geese. We've got the horse and cart. We'll be talking to Steve and Di later. Um, got Sparky. Got my little dog. Sparky. Yeah, Sparky's in there. now on there, keeping Tigsy Keep company. Keeping happy. Yes, absolutely. Well, I, I'm, I guess if I want to say thank you to the people of Glastonbury on their behalf, I'm sure they won't mind me talking for them when I say thank you both for, well, and what you've done here for us. It's a pleasure and yeah, it is definitely the best job in the world. It is the best job. It's, it's YouTube great making job YouTube satisfying. videos isn't as good as being an artist and that is official. So before we just wrap up one last time, um, I know some... Kim wants to say a few thank yous yeah. to people who kind of helped also make this happen. So Absolutely. over to you Kim. So first of all, obviously Steve and I, they've been really accommodating from the word go. They were really open to the idea they were really just lovely being here painting and, and doing it, always bring us tea and raspberry tea crumble. Coffee. Yes. <laughs> thank you, tea coffee. Um, and then also I'd like to thank Julian, um, my boss at Heart of the Tribe. It, without him this wouldn't be possible. He has sponsored the mural, he's been incredibly generous towards just the mural trail in general, um, a lot of the, the things that I've, I've done And all recently. the arts in Glasgow, Yeah, really. absolutely. It's been, he's been incredibly supportive and, and Heart of the Tribe in general. I mean, I feel a little bit biased because I work there, but it has definitely enhanced, I don't, I enhanced my creative life in Glastonbury. Um, and I'd, I'd like to thank the people of Glastonbury, really, for being so positive about what this is. And hopefully um, this mural being here and being in, in the outside of the town rather than right in the centre is going to make the community feel more included in what we're doing, because that is really 
why I do it. I don't from do the it for feedback the tourists. We've had, I think that's, yeah, that's we're not doing it for the tourists, we're doing it for the people of Glastonbury because we're the ones that live here and we're the ones that see it all the time. I mean, for me, the reason I started the mural trail and was so enthusiastic about it is because I really enjoy seeing the art around and I really hope that the other people who live here feel the same. And long may we continue. Thank you very and much, thank yeah. you, Gabriel, for always paying us so much attention wow. and giving us such great publicity. What can you do? I mean, when this, this is out in these publicising, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Good stuff needs to, be set, needs to be put out there. Well, thanks again, everybody, and uh, I hope you've enjoyed this 11 episodes. I will be putting together a little <laughs> montage video so that you can watch the whole thing in about 20 minutes if you don't want to sit through several quite long hours of videos. <laughs> thanks, everybody, for watching, and it's been great. Bye bye. See you next time.